Hi, I'm Rich. And this is Matt. And he's not Matt. Welcome to Art Blast. The show that dunks art nuggets into the barbecue sauce of your mind. Actually, I think I might be hungry. No, no Matt! Come back! Food is an essential part of being a human. And it's an essential part of being a Matt. So it makes sense that the food we eat features in the art we make. Take a look at this. Whoa! This monumental painting is called Big Yam Dreaming. It's eight metres long. Eight metres? Yeah. That's 47 bananas long. It's by Indigenous artist Emily Carmenware. Uh, I believe I ordered the large noodles. No, it's not noodles, Matt. This painting celebrates an edible plant found on country sacred to the artist. These white lines, they're the roots of the finger yam. A vegetable that grows underground at Al Alcara, Emily's country in the Northern Territory. So yams for lunch then? What? I said yams for lunch! The whole painting looks a lot like noodles. I like it, yeah. Now that I know it's nine metres long, it's pretty cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, what is this? Where are the dumplings? Here, dumpling by British artist Damien Hurst. It's a screen print. I, I think he's trying to get us to imagine the future, like maybe we will consume all the nutrients we need in pill form. It's an interesting idea. Uh, interesting, but not edible food. OK, OK, how about a piece of fruit? Anything. This mysterious artwork is called Bruised Peaches. So many peaches. Yeah, it's by Australian artist Petrina Hicks. Initially, you think it's quite calming, but then you think, how hard would it be to hold all those peaches? True. And then you realise that she's sort of holding it like a baby and it makes you want to yell out, don't drop the peaches! Well, I, she could give some of the peaches to me. No time, Matt. We've got to go to a banquet. Welcome to the Banquet of Cleopatra, painted by Giovanni Battista Tiepolo in 1744. Where's the food? Oh, well, they just finished it, I'm afraid. But uh, there is one thing left to consume. What? Well, it's the pearl earring in her hand. What? Let me explain. Cleopatra and Mark Antony made a bet about who could throw the most lavish feast. Cleopatra went first, and Mark Antony was pretty impressed by it, but he still thought he could top it. Hi, could I order a pharaoh falafel? Then, at the last minute, Cleopatra surprised everyone by pulling off her pearl earring, which was worth as much as the large house. Cleopatra's place? Turn left at the pyramids. Then she dropped it into a glass of vinegar, it dissolved, and she drank it. She won the bet. It was the most expensive bubble tea ever. Uh. Like Matt, artists are inspired by food and they use it in their art to celebrate the abundance of the earth, to imagine a future, to remind us how fragile we are as human beings and to tell stories of the past. Dinner's here. Matt, you can't eat inside the art. What? It's a banquet. Oh, say it, don't spray it. Sorry, Cleo. Does anyone want to buy my falafel? No, no one wants it. Oh, they forgot the hummus.